One of the things we're particularly proud of here in the School of Electronic Engineering and Computer Science is our outreach programme, typified by the Computer Science for Fun project, which was developed by my colleague Paul Curzon, uh, Jonathan Black and myself. This project involves developing uh, magazines and a website that takes contemporary research stories in computer science in a broadly interdisciplinary way and writing them up so that they're accessible to uh, students at, at school, they can learn something about the research topics and also have a little bit of fun. In fact, fun is an important part of, uh, of the Computer Science for Fun project. Uh, so we do the magazines, we do the website, uh, and we also go out and do a whole range of events appearing at uh, diverse and uh, interesting science festivals and arts festivals all over the country. The magazines are all available for free to download from the website. Um, one of the other areas that we've been particularly uh, lucky to find a, a kind of popular niche in is by using magic as a way of being able to teach people the fundamentals of computer science. Uh, so if you want to go along to the Computer Science for One Fun website, you can find a couple of magic books there that uh, explain how to do some really cool tricks, uh, but at the same time you're learning some really interesting mathematics. And that mathematical uh, element to it, those algorithms actually make not just the magic trick work, but some real applications in the world work. Uh, and if you fancy something to kind of stretch your mind and puzzle a little bit, then go on and download one of these, which is our vanishing robot puzzle. Uh, build up the jigsaw, shift the pieces around, and one of the robots vanishes. Is it magic or is it maths and computer science? I'll leave you to find